welcome to our 22nd Asian Taekwondo Championship semifinals where we have our women, women's featherweight category finalist Pauline Louise Lopez of the Philippines going up against Iran's Masa Jedi. Masa Jedi right here of Iran being introduced, getting her game face on, and she's got a lot of supporters sharing her on a gold medalist in the 2015 Asian Taekwondo Championship for Youth and a silver medalist in the 2014 World Olympic Qualifiers going up against a home crowd favorite. This is the Philippines. All the Filipinos just want to see a victory by Pauline Lopez in this uh, semi-final match. This whole crowd hoping that this gold medalist in the lightweight division at the 2015 Southeast Asian Games, which was held in Singapore, will be able to hold her own against a fellow gold medalist. And of course, we're going to have a really tough battle right here that will be hotly contested. And we have the Asian Taekwondo Union in the midst of it all to try to uh, control and control this situation. I'm Patricia Kizan with Stephen Fernandez, and this is the last gen standing for Team Philippines, hence the pressure on Pauline Lopez. Meantime, for Iran, who is represented by Masa Jedi on your screens, they have won two gold medals, a silver and two bronze medals. These two women right here are already assured of bronze medals for making it all the way to the semifinals. You have Pauline Lopez, who defeated to be able to get it this far in the opening round. Here we go. Round number one, two minutes on that clock. And our referees just preparing everything and making sure that even the clock uh, is, is prepared. Everyone's absolutely thrilled and excited and the Filipino fans in the Raptors are up on their feet. And you can see Pauline very serious and really focused on uh, this final match of hers, semi-final match of hers. So, referee Daniel of uh, the Benon just making sure that the sensor and the headgear is working properly. And uh, just really reassuring that everything is A OK in this very important game for the Philippines. is such a big confidence booster for Masa Jedi, who is ranked number 16 going into this tournament. And uh, apart from that, uh, Jedi also defeated our fighter from Nepal, and that is Gianni uh, Chun Chunara, uh, to be able to make it all the way to the semifinals. And those types of victories uh, against higher ranked individuals, higher ranked fighters, just obviously gives Masa Jedi enough confidence to be able to hold her ground against a home crowd favorite in Mary, uh, in Pauline Louise Lopez. Lopez of the Philippines to don the red guard on the right side of your screens as we are waiting once again for our systems to be A-OK -okay to, uh, uh, for our technical help from the World Taekwondo Federation who are still here, uh, making sure that uh, everything will uh, go smoothly. Now, Coach Stephen, tell us a little bit more about the featherweight category and what we are to uh, uh, expect in this type of weight category. Uh, in the featherweight category, it's actually, it's a very tough uh, division. Uh, a lot of good players, uh, very tall players. And uh, in, in, the, in the world, here in Asia, this is one of the categories that have the most players every time the tournament is held. This time they have a field of 16. You're right, it's one of those for the female category that, that do have a lot. But we do have one in the featherweight category for men that had 31 uh, competitors at the start of the day. And it looks like everything is set and we are ready for the first two minutes of this opening round, the featherweight category for women. Semi-finals between the Philippines and Iran. Very aggressive Pauline Lopez uh, in that exchange. Iran leading with the front leg again to 
Azam, the attack of Kalim Lopez. No score for Iran. Now Kalim, she's doing well in the right leg. A good back leg follow-up will quite uh, give her a better chance of scoring in this first round. Punch right there did not register either for Kalim as she followed it up with that. High kick hitting air for Kalim Lopez, but look at that Jedi. Iran with her patience able to score one as she got it through. So she's gonna try the same thing. Good for her. That last uh, two seconds and uh, Pauline trying. Getting her timing. Good back leg 25. A little higher. That would have scored. A minute and six here in this first round still remains and we have Philippines down by one. Jedi Masa of Iran with uh, that 1-0 uh, lead and is sticking to her game plan. Jenny doing the same thing, able to score. She probably can bring that to the first one. A good try for him, for him to bring her out, push her out. Maybe scoring with that punch. Not enough. Lopez now leading with her left leg, trying to evade that pesky um, uh, left leg of Iran that's snappy. Look, that left leg is really working like a jab for the player in the front line. And, uh, it's quite uh, getting off, getting clean of balance. But again, Kaleem trying, trying to set her tone. Good. Left leg 45. 12 seconds left in this opening round. Iran maintaining that lead. Sticking to what she's been relying on, that drop kick not working for Pauline. And that's the end of this opening round. Let's talk about Iran here. Uh, Masa Jedi, ranked number 16. And like I said, in the preliminary, she was able to drop Mayu Hamada of Japan. And she was the top rank. And probably it was through these frustrating moves that she was able to defeat her. She's very flexible. I'm very quite confident of that left leg. It, it, uh, it's used for, it's been working for her, the body to the head, and uh, clearly in the first round, that gave her the one point uh, advantage over Pauline Lopez. A gold medalist in the Asian Taekwondo Championships 2015, 2014 World Olympic qualifiers, silver medalist in the 2014 World Taekwondo Championships. So she is uh, the defending champion for this particular weight category this being a biennial event. And uh, right now, uh, first round of action, one zero in favor of Iran. Pauline, I believe, would have to try a little harder and put a little more effort in uh, attempting to get those kicks in to the scoring area of the body of the Let's see if Pauline Lopez uh, and what she's got against Jedi Massa of Iran right here, who's leading one zero in round number two. Score. There we have uh, the Iranian player signaling to her coach. Maybe she is trying to uh, get that credit for the round by the top. Punch by Good Lopez. punch. Good punch. Now we are one all. Good punch by Tony Lopez. Jedi Massa wanting to get that lead back right away. Still Jedi Massa losing that left leg as a jab, similar to uh, what she's been doing in the first round. For me now. Get the rhythm and uh, still keeping her distance just enough to get her close and score. Good punch again. Not enough, so it's a little uh, quite too short. And it's really just been trying to work around that left leg of uh, Iran. Molina's quite uh, really not solved that left leg of Jedi Massa. And uh, here she's trying it with her right leg. Still both players leading with the same stance in the first and the second round. First minute done here in the second round, and we're still tied at one apiece. Winner will advance to the gold medal match. Punch punch again. By Lopez punch by the Punch by scores for the Philippines. And there you have uh, the referee warning. Jedi for holding and grabbing. Now, Jedi has a little more uh, quite... Uh, oh, and that's another warning yeah. right there with Kaleen Lopez. Another point, she now needs 31 with 45 seconds. 
Ali now quite more confident after having scored two punches in a row. Now she gets a boost off of the two warnings uh, that Iran got here in the second round. That must be frustrating for Jenny Massa. But she has to be careful. Iran now is going to try and press. Uh, and you see here, uh, Jenny Massa is going to try again to score with that left leg of hers. Those follow-ups with the punches. Punch Lopez. again by Colleen Lopez. Doing wonders, but it's... Uh, now it's Colleen being warned by the referee for holding. Just a one point advantage for the Philippines. And uh, we have uh, one of the referees calling for a conference and maybe a discussion of uh, what had uh, just previously transpired in the court. If that second point of Iran should really be counted, yes. if there was really a kick, we'll have our referees, our three uh, judges around the mat, and our center referee uh, conferring. And this might be big if uh, they agree to not give Iran or give Iran that second point. Yes, and uh, you know, it's good uh, when referees uh, converse like this and really try to ensure uh, safe and fair play in events like this. And as soon as our judges are on their seats, we continue, and it looks like they're going to keep the score at 2-3. to three. 17 seconds, second round action, Philippines up by one. Good attempt by Pauline for an axe kick. Here's Jenny Massa trying her best to recover. Jenny Massa trying that punch kick again. Oh, Pauline's pushing it out. And uh, it's been a good run for the Philippines in that second uh, uh, round of action. So let's expect now Iran in the third round to try to take the lead and uh, hopefully wanting to win the game. But of course, in her way, Pauline Lopez is doing everything to really try and secure this victory for the Philippines. But you got to give it to Jedi Massa, able to score also another one to try to close that gap. But still, it's going to be any woman's battle as we go to the third round of action. Uh, Pauline getting instructions from her coach. And probably just stick to the same game plan. Uh, try what's been working. At the same time, maybe make a little more adjustment in terms of the kick. The follow-up will do. The variation. The power level of difficulty. Can give this victory to Pauline So this is the semi-finals for the weight category. Winner will advance to the gold medal round and will be given at least the silver here. 3-2 for the Philippines. Philippines wearing the red gear. You have Pauline Lopez going to the Good punch kick by Pauline Lopez. One point for the Philippines in this third round.
let's take a look at what the judges will be seeing. Oh, oh there we see. The big request from Iran has been granted, and it's going to be a nice position for three points. So, so for one point advantage. One point advantage. For the Philippines, and she's got to be quite careful here with Iran on the attack. Jenny Massa right here knows that she's got a good chance of neutralizing, and she scores off the back row. Nice forward. Alina has to score. Iran trying that axe kick. Acknowledging it to her coach, but nothing. No score in that exchange. Pauline Lopez against Jenny Massa of Iran. Minute left in this third round. Lopez looking to at least win a gold, a silver medal for the Philippines if she wins this match. So far, Pauline scored in the second round for two punches. Uh, maybe she should try attempt to try and attempt uh, to punch the round. Okay, let's see. Right there for Pauline did not register. Neither did the counter from Jenny Massa. Uh, both players trying to take the lead from this four-point uh, uh, same score. 26 seconds left. The let's clock see. is ticking. Tension. One point for Pauline. No score. Punch for the Philippines. Iran scoring with a punch. 30 seconds. Irene has got to do something. Turn side, not enough. Punch again from the Philippines. Not registering. 6.88 seconds left. Iran with the lead. Back by 45. She counters. 4 seconds. 34. 35 for the Philippines. And that's going to be a credit for the Philippines again. Both rushes. Two rushes. Knowledging and adding two points for the Philippines in this semi final. Philippines up by two now. One second in the third round. A second left. And Philippines. Philippines will advance to the finals match and will be assured of the least the silver. But this is the Philippines' first real staff for the women's category at the gold. Having fallen short with Chris Wick in the gold medal match, it could be in the hands now of Pauline Lopez to close strong. Team Philippines here in the 22nd Asian Taekwondo Championships. What a win that was. Definitely a very close game. Last five seconds, you're down by one. Pauline Lopez doing a jump at 45, scoring three, leading by two at the end of this match. What a game. Good jump at 2045.